Cabbage has been an important crop in this country. Generally, the population of Kenya consume on a daily basis. One of the challenges that we have seen in cabbage production systems in the country is the presence of turnip mosaic virus. Now, turnip mosaic virus is uh, uh, spread by aphids and it can also be easily spread mechanically just by touching. You can spread it from one plant to the other. And the aphids are capable of spreading it rapidly within a very short period of time. Within 30 seconds, you can move one infection from one plant to the other. And that has led to a widespread of this virus in the country negatively impacting on the production statistics of the country and impacting on hunger as well. When the infection of turnip mosaic virus starts very early, the cabbage does not form the head. And so the farmer loses the crop almost 75%. If the infection sets in late, head will be formed, but it will not be marketable. Same to kale. If it starts early, we are getting infected plants that are not marketable. So what the project is doing, we are trying to look for a trait that has been developed in terms of resistance of this virus in a Chinese cabbage, which is a sister crop to the cabbage and kale in Kenya, and transfer that desirable trait to these Kenyan uh, cabbages and be able to increase the production. One of the activities that we undertake on this project is to go and collect virus symptomatic plants or plants that are showing the symptoms of turnip mosaic virus from different parts of the country because of different conditions and bring them to the lab for analysis. We use an ELISA protocol or method that is used to be able to identify what kind of turnip mosaic viruses that we are having. The UK team or collaborators have already developed a more advanced ELISA protocol that we are going to use to be able to collect, to identify the virus from the farmer samples. And this is some, this is a tool that we can continue using as a country to do quick diagnosis of presence of this virus in the farms. CABI, it is an intergovernmental organization. So it is owned by member countries of which are 49 in number around the world, of which 16 are in Africa, including Kenya. But culture in, in Kenya ranks very high. Okay? So any information that addresses the issues concerning what culture, such as in kales or cabbage, is key to what we do as an organization. So this information will be very important to be repackaged into different extension materials. These extension materials can be given to different stakeholders. We include the farmers as photo sheets, which demonstrate the problem, to extension officers who can use it to advise farmers, to policymakers who can use it to regulate the dissemination or the spread of this disease in Kenya. There are several ways that this project could move further to even benefit the farmer more. And one of them is one of, of our collaborators can be supported to take it up and be able to produce it on a wider scale. So, so this project is central to improving the livelihoods of farmers in Kenya, especially those engaged in kale, through reducing the cost of production. Mm -hmm.